Hey there, Internet! My name's Luxander, and today I want to talk about a certain term that I think is being misused a lot that could possibly be rehabilitated into something that makes sense. You've seen the title already. Basically, there's this term that gets used when people who are outside of the trans community are talking about trans people and our identities, and I think that this is a very silly term, and I don't like it very much, but I do think that it could have practical applications in other ways. The term is sexual identity. This is basically one of the clearest hallmarks that a person is not actually involved in any way with the community. It's a very it's a very external term that's used to describe our experiences. I don't know a single trans person who describes their internal sense of gender as their sexual identity. I suppose I will begin by saying I don't entirely want to knock the term sexual identity in the way that it's been used to describe gender identity, and I s listen, I don't even like the phrase gender identity. Many other activists have put it this way before me, but essentially it seems to me that cis people get to have a gender and trans people get to have a gender identity. It's just a phrase that really makes things seem frivolous. I don't like using the phrase gender identity either. I think sexual identity is even more silly than that, but I just want to acknowledge really quick that that's where my, that's where my hangups sort of begin with this, and then when you go into saying someone's sexual identity, it sounds a lot like what you're conveying there is like a sexual orientation, because the term sex obviously can be used to describe a person's biological, physiological, whatever, but also can be used to describe a certain type of interaction between people. Now, for a lot of trans people, there is an aspect of interacting with your gender that involves having an identity about your sex, because gender and sex always have a relationship to one another, even if they don't, like, if your assigned sex doesn't correlate with your internal gender. And for a lot of people, coming out as trans and going through a transition process can involve really feeling like your sex has changed or is changing. So basically what I'm getting at there is that I don't think that the term sexual identity as it's being used is necessarily 100% wrong, it just is a confusing term and a term that I find silly and again is a very clear marker that someone is not informed by people from the actual community. So I think it's confusing and a misleading term. So I have this idea that I've had for a while that could it could be a useful word, it could be a useful term, maybe, in other circumstances. It's also entirely possible that the thing I'm about to say is really more a non-binary thing, a non-binary experience, than it would be for binary trans people, but you know what, let's- I'll just tell you, and then you can tell me what you think. I have a hypothesis that, particularly for non-binary people, there might be another aspect of your identity as it relates to your gender and the sex that you engage in. Essentially, my thought process is that a trans person has a way that they present themselves in each part of their life, okay? And if you are transitioning in a binary way, that includes dressing a certain way, perhaps taking certain hormones, going by a certain type of name, all of these things which have been coded as the opposite gender to the one that you were assigned at birth. Also, as a part of the way that you interact with the world and how that changes, a binary transition would probably also include, essentially, having one type of way that you interact sexually and moving to the opposite way that you interact sexually. Someone who's having a binary transition might, for example, be a trans woman who, before she came out, would use her given organ to penetrate, and then as you transition, you change the way that you interact in a sexual dynamic to perhaps being penetrated instead. There are some trans women who continue to enjoy penetrating as they have come out as a woman, and they don't find that that, like, denigrates their womanhood in any way. And, you know, there's an opposite, you know, corollary for trans men. You might start out being penetrated and then find after you've come out and transitioned that you prefer to penetrate, but there are some trans men who continue to enjoy the penetrative use of their parts. For a non-binary person, the gender presentation that you take on can change in different circumstances. So, like, maybe you go to prom or something, like adult prom, and you decide that that's an instance in which you want to wear a dress, or that's an instance in which you want to wear a suit, and maybe when you go home to your parents, you might dress closer to your assigned gender so that you can minim minimize those, like, difficulties that are involved with that. Or maybe professionally, you have your gender this other particular way, 
And then maybe when you're with your friends, you have like your more authentic presentation, whatever that may be for you. So if for a binary person, all of these different things tend to line up in a certain binary way, I'm going from this set of behaviors to this set of behaviors and presentation, then maybe a non-binary person would have different presentations in different circumstances, perhaps including in sexual encounters. So what if the term sexual identity could have actual utility in describing how you prefer to be in bed as compared to how you prefer to present your gender in other contexts. Instead of being a term to describe how you identify your sex, it would be more a term to describe how you want to behave in a gendered way in the context of having sex. The example that I would like to use here is essentially if you have a non-binary person, and it doesn't matter what gender they were assigned at birth, if they have like an interaction with a particular gendered partner, they might want to inhabit a sexual identity that sort of matches in a particular way. So maybe a non-binary person would be the more submissive partner with a man if you wanted to recreate a sort of dynamic there or maybe they could be more dominant when they're having sex with women, or they could queer those roles by having like what would be a gay interaction with either a man or a woman, like typically following patterns that are more akin to this expectation and this expectation. And because you're non-binary, you can kind of just morph between and again, do whatever you want with your gender presentation, but this time, in the context of sexiness. I'm not really sure what words we would use to describe a person's sexual identity if we're using the term in the way that I'm proposing. There are kind of already existing terms to describe your behavior in sex, if not your, like, identity in sex. Like, you know, you've got top, bottom, like, those kind of terms to describe your role. But I'm just sort of proposing the concept that maybe we could have language to describe the way that we want to interact in bed if there is not like a clear set out path for how you want to interact. Like if you were born with this particular sex organ and people say that it's supposed to be used in a certain way, and like maybe that just makes you really uncomfortable to use the body part in the way that it was meant to be used, and so you want to have a different identity in your sexual encounters. I don't know. I just think it's a really interesting thing, and I've been thinking about it for a really long time, so I thought I would toss it over to y'all if y'all have any thoughts or opinions about it. I think I mostly don't have anything else to add about the concept of sexual identity. As I said, it is not entirely wrong in what it is originally meant to describe, which is one's identity as it relates to their sex, but that's what the word gender is. The word gender is one's identity as it relates to their sex within the broader context of the cultural idea that's been set up for what your gender is supposed to be. Like, that's all sexual identity is. The identity of my sex, which is what gender is, as a description of your internal identity. So I just think that that term is a little redundant, and I would like to hear your thoughts on my proposal of how we could maybe talk about the fact that the way that you engage in sex is part of your gender expression and your gender identity. I'm really excited to hear what y'all have to say about this, because again, it's been kicking around my brain for a really long time, and I just wanted to get it out there. That's all from me today, though. If you liked this video, please give me pretty pretty analytics to look at and comments to read. Find me on Patreon, subscribe to this channel, ring the bell for notifications, and I really 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 hope that you have an okay day. Bye! Thank you so much to my patrons for supporting this work. I would like to give a special shout out to The Gay Agenda, Amber Music, David Walter, Jenny Swindles, Elijah Lane, Jess Zendrex, Gretchen Becker, Wellington Marcus, Nicolette Klassen, Pine Snake, and Mr. Atheist.